So here I am at the Libriera Cultura. It's one of the, I think it might be the largest bookstore in Sao Paulo. Uh, it's actually right off of Avenue Polista, just maybe about a block off. There's also a cool, um, I think it's a Mediterranean restaurant called Rascal right next to it um, that I want to check out. I haven't checked it out yet. Um, hopefully I'll get around to it. But anyway, this bookstore has a huge amount of variety and uh, I'll kind of show you around what, uh, what what's available. There's not much uh, in English. There was like some children's books in English and the people are really helpful, um, you know, very friendly and, uh, and uh, you know, give a a nice attempt to speak with you especially if you've you know probably tried to speak a little bit of their language as well but um anyway i'll kind of show you around what what is uh, in here it's pretty interesting so i mentioned that most people would arrive on this side if you see the rascal restaurant there's also a mcdonald's you can see kind of back there it's just like a block or two off of avenue Polista, and in the heart of the city so this is where most people would enter see the big sign here but it's fun strangely enough it's kind of easy to miss if you don't know exactly which way to be looking um, so this is kind of where I would probably normally start the video but um, at any rate you know you have in the front here you have a lot of the, the big classic books and you know I've noticed that that's true of a lot of stores like the Barnes and Nobles by us they tend to put the classics up front. There's some interesting things about African culture. You know, there's there's definitely an African, you know, influence in uh, Brazil. Two more of the art type books. travel stuff here. Uh, this is one of my loves. American National Parks. Now let's just open it and see. This is in Portuguese. Oh, there's some beautiful pictures. Wow, gorgeous. So this is kind of a little bit of, let's see what we have here. Okay. That's in English, right? <laughs> so there's a little bit more English. You might have just not known how much was available. Because that's what I was thinking of. I'd be able to find a, like a biography about Rondon in English or something like that. That that would be a neat thing to have. But it might be... Uh, more general interest kind of stuff that they would have available in English. I wonder what these are. Are these posters or large calendars? Or... Might be calendars. They're huge. Some of this stuff would be hard to get on an airplane if you're traveling. Uh, Ulysses by James Joyce. I tried to read that book. I could never understand it. But I did get a song title out of it because there was different chapters and different um, sections of the book had little titles on them. And one of the titles just said sad. And that's where I got a song title for an instrumental that I wrote. Small houses. That's a popular thing over here in the U.S. for a little while. I wonder if there's going to be any um, people who uh, regret later on trying to downsize too much because it seems like it's almost an overreaction. 
and Dumas, you know, the three musketeers. This is where you see there are quite a few classics here. A lot of, I've seen a lot of C.S. Lewis in here and J.R.R. Tolkien. And even some of Lewis's theology in here, not just his fantasy and science fiction writing. Fazer amigos e influenciar pessoas. Yes. We all know what that is, right? Some popular literature. One thing you'll find a lot of here, too, is, uh, and I'll show in a little bit. It's like an educational book section. Let's see if I can work my way over there. That's a little play area for kids. That's kind of neat. Get, get, get a pillow and just lay down with a good book. <laughs> So as you can see, this is kind of ramped here, so you can get down up and down stairs without having to do stairs if you're not able to do that. This is Editoria JBC. Not sure what that means. stuff has anything to do with well I just don't know maybe anthropology or something but I'm not so sure about that we have a neat art section over here I think this is Frida Kahlo one thing I noticed about this store is there's a lot of what I kind of call book table, or I mean, um, like coffee table books, like the really big books like you'd have, like in your living room. Oh, here's one on Bali. <laughs> That's one of my interests. I've been to Bali twice, and I love the gamelan music and, uh, and the tropical atmosphere and the people and everything over there. It's really cool. But yeah, so you have a lot of art, and I guess this is Probably travel kind of related stuff up here as well. Um, like I say, a lot of really huge, very substantial, heavy books. I don't know Portuguese well enough to probably buy a book written in Portuguese, although it would be kind of interesting to try. But uh, but some of these bigger books maybe would be good, just because they would have a lot of pictures. <laughs> Um, you know, they, 
There's, there's something about the Amazon. I was wondering if it was probably a Rondon biography somewhere. He's the guy who took um, Teddy Roosevelt through the Amazon. And uh, he was doing kind of a survey of the area. And um, it proved to be a bit too intense for um, for Roosevelt and his, his uh, entourage. So I don't think they're really planning on that kind of trip. But anyway, I'm getting on a sidetrack here. Uh, we're getting into some cool music books and Capitol Records. It's kind of neat. Rock covers. <laughs> and my brother Paul painted the dark side of the moon on his wall and when he had a room down in the basement when I was growing up. Mm, Dali. If you get a chance, check out my video. I'm roundabout with Dan. Check out my um, Dali Museum video. Um, that's the one in uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. Cool place and now they have interactive stuff <clears throat> that you can do with your phone, different things. Um, you can take a picture with Dali and I kind of show how some of that works and also explain a little bit about the art and some of the um, different things that um, different uh, periods in his his art uh, as he developed and, and, and tried out different ideas and approaches I love these steps the, the books all along the way it's pretty clever Kind of cute and artsy. This is one thing I was kind of surprised to find it was a Stacey Abrams book of all things, you know. You'd think she'd be kind of an obscure uh, person uh, from the U.S. to be to be um, have readers over here in Brazil, but apparently she uh, probably a lot of that voting rights uh, stuff that she was involved in. That maybe that's why you know, people might be interested in her. There's a little section here on actual Brazilian literature, so if that's something that you're kind of curious about checking out, uh, you probably have the best chance of finding it in a place like this just because they have such a huge selection of all kinds of different things. So you can kind of see maybe a few of the authors and titles as I go along here. I love to spend time in record stores and bookstores and uh, just kind of explore and uh, and it's pretty cool to do it in another country, you know, it's pretty interesting. And uh, a few of the titles here. Books and records, those are two of the things I love to do. Hit the coffee house, nice restaurant bookstore, record store, art museum, you know, I'm a pretty happy camper. So after I left the uh, Libiera Cultura, uh, I just wanted to add, uh, you know, I did mention there's a lot of great uh, little coffee shops all around. And this place uh, made a, a pretty nice little espresso for me. And they usually give you like a little cookie that goes with it. Really nice. And, um, and then they also give you these little glasses of, of carbonated water, which sometimes they'll ask you if you want it with gas in it. And in, in the United States, we would think of gas in it. It's like gasoline, <laughs> but it's just carbonated. You want it carbonated or not. Uh, so anyway, I'm just sitting down reading my Frederick Douglass book, uh, biography by Mr. David Blight. Um, and chilling for a while while I wait for uh, to meet up with my cousin a little bit later today. This is right just down the street from um, La Vera Cultura. And uh, not a bad way to spend a little time. I just wanted to kind of throw a shout out to them because they were really nice. And also, uh, they gave me change for uh, kind of a large bill compared to my purchase. I felt kind of bad about it, but, uh, but they were able to take care of me. So anyway, everybody around here too, I should mention, very friendly people. Um, I've had really good experiences. The only bad thing in Sao Paulo I've heard about is people getting their phones stolen. So if you are 
out on the street and you're uh, wanting to take a picture of something with your iPhone, be careful because that's kind of where it usually happens when you're out on the street. Some guy will come by on a bicycle and snatch it right out of your hand or out of your pocket too. Kind of keep it in some safe place if you can. I, I also uh, carry a money belt so all my significant amounts of money are in my money belt. So I had my cousin coming to visit and so that was one of the reasons I've always wanted to go to the store because it's known as, as the biggest bookstore in Sao Paulo and uh, had a little bit of time to kill before my cousin came out to meet up with me and uh, so I thought oh it's not better to hit the bookstore and then in this neighborhood you know there's just so many cafes so you won't have any trouble finding uh, good stuff to eat. So anyway, if you, it's, it's, I would recommend it too. It's a great place, not only pick up something to take back home uh, to remember your trip, but also uh, just a way to you know kill a few hours just kind of browsing around and seeing what they have here. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, click the subscribe button and uh, the like button. Let me know, you know if you have any comments. I'd love to hear from you guys and see what you think. Uh, uh, you enjoyed about this and what you'd like to see more of but anyway thanks a lot this is roundabout with dan signing off see you later